Between the 8th and the 11th centuries, the Vikings were perhaps the most skilled and successful navigators in the world. From their homeland in Scandinavia, they sailed huge distances, raiding, trading, and settling across the Northern Hemisphere. They reached as far as the Caspian Sea, Iceland, Greenland, and even North America, almost 500 years before any other European explorers. And somehow, they managed to do this using only simple navigational tools. No magnetic compasses, no sextants, only the sun and stars. One of the tricks that Viking navigators had up their sleeves was the ability to find the sun, even when it was below the horizon or behind cloud cover, using something called a sunstone. The use of the sunstone was first written down in the Icelandic legend Ralthus Thauder. The king made people look out and they could nowhere see a clear sky. Then he asked Sigurdr to tell him where the sun was at that time. He gave a clear assertion. Then the king made them fetch the solar stone and held it up and saw where the light radiated from the stone and thus verified Sigurdr's prediction. But is this story true? Did the Vikings really have a magic stone that could let them see through the clouds or over the horizon? Maybe it was just a myth or a metaphor. Or maybe it was something like this. This is a piece of Iceland spar, a mineral made of crystallized calcium carbonate, or calcite. Iceland spar can be used for navigation thanks to a special physical property called birefringence. Birefringence means that the amount that light is refracted when it passes through the crystal depends on the polarity of the light. When a beam of light, like sunlight, passes through the crystal, it splits into two beams. These are called the ordinary and the extraordinary beams. You can see this by looking through the crystal. You can see that everything that's viewed through the crystal appears doubled. But how can this be used to find the sun? Well, we can't be entirely sure, but recent studies found a possible method. First, a mark was drawn on the top of the crystal, using pine tar or charcoal. Next, the crystal would be pointed at the brightest part of the horizon. The navigator would look up through the bottom of the crystal so that they could see two dots refracted through the stone. Then they would move the crystal along the horizon until both dots appeared equal in brightness. When this happened, the navigator would know that the front of the crystal was pointed toward the sun. When this method was tested under experimental conditions, it was found that with a bit of practice, this method could be used to find the sun with an accuracy of just one or two degrees, which is certainly accurate enough to be used to navigate. Of course, the only way to prove that Iceland spar was the mythical sunstone would be to find physical evidence of a sunstone being used for navigation. In 2012, divers excavating a shipwreck in the English Channel found a piece of Iceland spar, the right shape and size to be used as a sunstone. The shipwreck has been dated to the late 16th century, hundreds of years after the end of the Viking Age. But it's entirely possible that through trade and exchange, Viking navigational technology was picked up by other cultures and was still being used hundreds of years after the last Viking ship sailed the North Atlantic. The excavation of the shipwreck is still ongoing, and maybe someday, with the help of more research and new discoveries, the mystery of the Sunstone will be solved once and for all. If you want to learn more about the Sunstone, I've put links to the research mentioned in this video in the description. I'd also recommend the book Secrets of the Viking Navigators by Leif Carlson. And if you'd like to see more videos like these, click here to subscribe.